Welcome. In this discussion, we'll start to talk about part three of the textbook, on the Intro to Business. And we're talking here about sort of the nuts and bolts of actually running a business, of moving the business forward, doing the things, the day-to-day -day activities that you need in order to maintain customer satisfaction and, in, and have product quality, uh, continue to make money and, and, um, and grow your business. So it's all those parts, the different pieces. Uh, this first uh, lecture of this particular chapter, um, and there'll be uh, five parts, but the first one will just go give an overview of what we mean by operations and what we're talking about whenever we say we're going to be uh, running a business or I'm in, I'm, my job is in the operating operations part of the business. We'll talk about managing a service business, a manufacturing business. We'll get into some uh, in some of the later discussions, some quality control, some process management, and those sorts of things. But in this very first one, what we'll do is we'll talk about what we mean by operations. When we talk, when someone says, my business or my management, I'm an I'm operating manager operations. Um, one way to do this is to visualize driving into a fast food restaurant, like a Taco Bell. And one of the things that you do if you're going to a Taco Bell, you might decide you want to go through the drive through And if you think about it, what organizations are trying to accomplish in that situation is a very fast and efficient way of getting people the, the order that they want, the products that they want, the service, you know, whatever it is that they're getting, get it to them efficiently with high quality so people are happy. Um, there's very high cost to making mistakes because people drive home, they don't get what they want, they complain, whatever. Um, and also, you could have quite a long line. One of the reasons people do drive through is they want a lot of time. So you want to build the operating process. So no matter who's running the drive through no matter who's putting the food together, uh, you might have a shift change or whatever, um, the process of, of greeting the customer, taking the order, filling the order, taking the money, giving back the money, and then giving, the, delivering the goods and services happens very quickly. And that's what the operations process is all about, the actual business, if you will, running the business. Um, and you can see that there's some things to think about. And in this particular case, the Taco Bell, when they put this kind of process in place, um, they managed an average service of uh, 164 seconds, which is really quite amazing when you really think about it. And there's all sorts of ways to think about how they might have done this, what you might have done differently if you ever watched that kind of service. But those are the sorts of things we mean when we talk about operations. So what is operations management? It has been called manufacturing or it's been called production. Uh, it has very different roles or different names. Um, but with the increase in service in terms of like service in a restaurant, service in a retail outlet, um, any sorts of service in terms of like uh, law, and law or financial services, whatever, we tend to call it operations, which is, which is greeting the customer, meeting the customer's expectations, delivering the product or service, and then after, after sale uh, service and interaction to make sure that that customer's experience continues to be good. Those are the sorts of things that we're talking about when we're talking about now operations. It could mean you're making something, it could mean you're delivering something, could mean you're producing or developing something, but by and large, it's the day-to-day -day business activities that deliver the, the value that customers are looking for. Um, three things to be thinking about. There'll be a lot of terms in this discussion to keep in mind. Manufacturing is when you actually make something. It's also sometimes called production, but that production could also include figuring out the marketing, market products, what is it that the customer wants, building the features into it, developing the features. And then activities and processes of operations, like we said, include manufacturing, include production, but they also include operating the back office, making sure that service is cared for, quality control, all of those things are what we refer to when we talk about operations. The general picture, the easiest way to be thinking about this is what's called a systems model. And the systems model just says that you're looking at something, uh, an organization, um, at that level of an organization, you sort of like for a moment, you step back and don't think about the individual person you're dealing with behind the counter and the Taco Bell, but rather you think about the Taco Bell as a service operation or an organization and a system, if you will, that provides this service. There are inputs, 
that is the raw materials. In the case of the fast food restaurant, you have the food that's delivered, you have the packaging material, you have the employees, all of those are inputs. Um, the real estate, even in the, with, in the case of the drive through there's the technology associated with it, inputs. Um, those in some manner get transformed. They turn into tacos or burritos or coffee or soda, um, chips, whatever it is that you're delivering. And that produces outputs, which is the bags that's given to the customer uh, when they get their food and they drive away. And hopefully that bag contains exactly what the customer asked for in the right quantities. And it's still piping hot and tasty when the, uh, when the customer decides that it's time for them to eat. Um, so you think about operations as what goes on in gathering the inputs, doing all of this transformation of inputs into an output, um, then putting the output there, and of course the feedback from the customer back into the system to improve things, finding errors before they go to the customer and making corrections. The burrito may have been um, the wrong kind, in which case there's, it's remade and another one is substituted before it's given to the customers. All the way along the line, there is these feedbacks, feedback loops. That's what we want to think about when we think about the notion of um, of a customer and when we want to think about the notion of operations generally we think about this systems model it really comes in handy to think about okay what are our inputs uh, what are our outputs and what goes on in the middle that causes this transformation um, in the next section we'll talk a little bit more about what actually happens when you're trying to build up an operations uh, discussion that'll be in our next little video see you then